Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. A quick news update for you guys on a ton of new National Geographic content that's going to be heading our way pretty soon. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So Disney's National Geographic held a showcase event this past Wednesday and it revealed a whole host of new shows that are going to be coming to our streaming services over the next sort of six to eight months. Now the majority of the shows are going to be shown on the National Geographic channel and they're also going to be added on to Disney Plus and Hulu the following day. This seems to be their new trend that they're doing. Pretty much everything is being shared between all the streaming services. Internationally, things are going to be a little bit more awkward because National Geographic stuff tends to have different release dates all over the place. So for the sake of this video, all these release dates are based on the US. Things might change, but got a whole host of different stuff. Let's jump into it. Let's kick off first off talking about JFK One Day in America, which will be premiering on the 5th of November on the National Geographic channel, the following day on Disney Plus and Hulu. So if you want to learn more about the assassination of JFK, this one's going to be one to check out. A couple of weeks later on November the 19th on the National Geographic channel and the next day on Disney Plus and Hulu, we're getting a brand new series, Incredible Animal Journeys, which sees Jeremy Renner narrating a brand new documentary series where we take a look at different animals from around the world as they take on massive journeys. You've got whales in here, polar bears, a whole host of different animals and stuff. The trailer looked fantastic, really looking forward to watching this one. And it'll be interesting as well to see how Jeremy Renner is on the narration for this one. We've also got a follow on to the big hit film, Science Fair, which is called Science Fair, the series, an original title I know. That'll be dropping on to the National Geographic channel on December the 10th, the following day on Disney Plus and Hulu. And this one takes a look, obviously, at a science fair and sort of looks at what um, the kids are making and all this kind of thing. So if you enjoyed that original documentary, I'm sure you'll like this one. Moving on from there, let's now talk about a series which has been around for a while. This was initially announced back at the Investor Day back in 2020. It's A Real Bug's Life. And it's going to be narrated by Aquafina, and it's going to be dropping as a Disney Plus original on January the 24th in 2024. And this one, the trailer looks fantastic. Lots of crazy stuff with some really weird bugs. And looking at how, you know, it, it just, I love the idea of this one. And it's so weird, these little animals. Aquafina's sort of narration on this one is a little bit more sort of tongue-in-cheek. This might work a little bit. It's a little bit more aimed at younger audiences and stuff, but I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. The following month on February the 4th on that geo, followed by the next day on Disney Plus and Hulu, is a brand new documentary called Arctic Ascent with Alex Honnold, who you might know from Free Solo, and he's climbing this massive great big um, cliff face in Greenland, which is being affected by climate change. Just the opening scene from this one just looks incredible. I can't wait to watch this one. I've enjoyed all of his other documentaries that he's had and yeah just more of this even just the trailer alone you know you can kind of feel your heart beating while watching it i just think this one looks really good the next series we're talking about now is photographer which is going to be coming out on march the 18th from national geographic next day disney plus and hulu which takes a look at a number of different photographers and showing kind of you know, how they make the perfect shots and how they kind of crafted their craft and all hosts of different information so if you're enjoying photographs especially if you enjoy the national geographic magazine i think that one's going to be for you then also dropping in March, we've got um, a new series called Queen. So this one is going to be narrated by Angela Bassett. It's dropping on the 4th of March on National Geographic, next day Disney Plus and Hulu. And this one features um, female queens. So you've got different animals in here, including bees and all hosts of different animals and stuff. Um, so this one, again, if you enjoy uh, nature shows, this one's going to be for you. There was also some other new returning shows announced, including Lost Cities Revealed with Albert Lynn, which drops on the National Geographic channel on November the 23rd, on the 29th on Disney Plus and Hulu, a little bit different in terms of release date. And this one sees the explorer traveling around the world, visiting a whole host of different sites, including Sudan, you've also got Peru, Scotland, and Oman. So lots of different places if you're into that. Also in January, we'll be getting the return of Trafficked. Um, this one will be on the 17th on National Geographic, the following day on Hulu. No Disney Plus release. So obviously, um, Disney is still kind of keeping the idea that they want to keep anything involving something a little bit more risky away from Disney Plus. Don't really see the point of that when they got Hulu being added soon. But yeah, that's just one to be aware of. And then in April... We'll be getting Caesar Milan, Better Human, Better Dog, a brand new series of this one. So it's dropping on the National Geographic channel on April the 12th. And then it's going to be arriving on Disney Plus and Hulu 
on June the 19th. So that was a long time ago, but if you're obviously into like learning about how to look after your dogs and stuff, this one should be for you. Very, again, very weird little release date for that show. Um, the fact that it's so far apart and the fact that they've announced it so far in advance. I mean, to be talking about shows coming out in June when it's only um, October is quite a way away. We also got our first look at a brand new series, Genius, MLK slash X, which is going to be coming out on um, the National Geographic channel on February the 1st, and then they'll be um, available the next day on Hulu and Disney Plus, and then there'll be two episodes dropping each week on that one. And this one is taking a look at the life of Dr. Martin Luther King and also Malcolm X. This kind of is a, a continuation of the Genius series that we've seen um, in the past, like last time we had Aretha Franklin. So I like these kind of ones. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Nice to see a little bit of footage about this one. Um, but I've really enjoyed the previous Genius seasons. So I'm just liking the idea that we're getting this one. Originally it was going to be a Disney Plus original, but you know, they've kind of pushed it out to all the different networks. So lots of great new content that's been revealed by National Geographic, which I think is definitely an underrepresented side of Disney Plus and Hulu, which sometimes gets overlooked as creating some incredible stuff there. You've got um, great drama series like Genius, which I think is definitely the highlight. Plus you've got lots of new stuff. For me, it's the climbing one, the Arctic one, the, the footage of that. Just looks amazing. Can't wait to see that one when it drops. But it's nice as well. We've kind of got a, a line out now of like where all these different shows are coming. We kind of, in a sense, kind of got one or two big shows a month for the next few months, which I think is great. And I also think with National Geographic, it makes sense to kind of put it out into as many different areas as possible, get as many people to watch it. And we're seeing those lines being blurred now between Disney Plus and Hulu. And I think we're going to see more of that. But again, it's just a little bit messy in terms of some of the release dates for some of this stuff. But generally, you are seeing a new trend here, which I think is probably the best thing. But again, it would be nice if they were a little bit more uniform with everything just being next day or the same day or something like that. But yeah, definitely seeing some great stuff coming from National Geographic. But let us know what you're excited for in the comments below. Go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys soon. Laters.